everyone, fall is right around that corner and it's that time of the year where you start looking in your wardrobe, changing things out, it's quite transitional. And I figured I'd go over the top 10 trends that you can wear this fall winter season. The first one is going to be suede. Suede is huge this season. And I feel like this happens every year, or maybe that's just because I love suede. If you've seen my handbag collection, you know that almost all of my Lee Radzel bags are suede. And actually, I have one right now. Well, let me show you. This one is like a beautiful Western suede bag with leather on it. Anyways, to go over the trend, we saw this with Gucci and Miu Miu. Suede coats seem to be the largest factor. Now, I won't be buying myself a suede coat this season, but I will be utilizing my suede pieces even more. This is the perfect time of the year because suede is a little bit touchy. You can't wear it in the rain. You have to be careful with getting it dirty. It does need professional cleaning. So a coat is probably too much maintenance, honestly, but I would love to get maybe a suede shirt. Hold on, actually, if I ever did get a suede coat, which, you know, we're saying it's probably not in the works, but if I did, the Hermes, I think it was 2020, those suede coats, that was a gorgeous coat. Those are very much my style. I think I like that cargo look, and I already have a brown, like, normal leather coat that looks like that, and so getting one in suede, I already know it would be something I'd wear quite frequently, or... It would be a blazer. It would be a blazer. But I'm just, you know, I don't see that happening. It's definitely not in the cards for me this year. This goes quite well with the Western trend that we've already been seeing month over month over month, season over season. It's still in, it's not dying out. And if you already have some suede Western pieces, that is an amazing way to bring that into the fall season. Now, going over Western is still in. It's not as traditionally western as i was expecting a lot of what we saw on the runaways was going to be fringe fringe on everything but not pieces where you'd expect it when i think of fringe i think of the western boot or you know the leather jacket with the fringe off the bottom of the arms however we saw fringe on mini skirts but then the fringe would continue all the way down to the floor or an entire jacket made of fringe and this is so beautiful i also love that many of the trends right now blend together so you want to wear suede you want to wear western it complements each other perfectly you want to wear fringe that kind of goes into the trend of feathers and yarn galore right now it seems like all of the coats are the most statement pieces you could possibly think of and i know that fur fur is typical fur is traditional um faux fur shirling we're used to that however these coats are over the top dramatized and yarn i don't think that's something we see too often however i will say don't get a yarn coat <laughs> that's not the wearable part of this trend okay because i have a yarn coat it's beautiful but guys like it snags on every single thing however feathers the sequence the animal print which is a huge trend that came in but we'll get there in a moment these over the top coats statement coats if you will very much so coming out and i think I love that this is coming out because I hope that it will encourage people to re-wear their clothing. Figure out how to make your statement pieces work day after day after day. Make them fresh, make them new. And I am a sucker for statement pieces. So many of these 10 trends, of course the ones I was drawn to are the ones that you know I love to wear, I enjoy, but trends are important and they're valuable, not because you need to feed into everyone, but it lets you know what is about to be hitting stores what is about to be popularized and so for me seeing these statement pieces come out lets me know this might be a good time to keep an eye on the stores because i'm not someone that shops okay that's a lie <laughs> i shop frequently but i don't do hauls frequently i'm not buying lots and lots of clothing so the select pieces that i buy knowing what time of the year is a great time to grab that is important Circling back to animal prints, they are still very much on trend. I know that leopard has been taking 
over the fashion market for the past couple of months, the past couple seasons, or maybe just like two seasons. However, it's still in and I would say some animal prints are considered classics. So when you are looking for these pieces, if you want them, and oh my gosh, this is so funny. I'm on a trip right now, guys, and so I'm looking at some of the pieces that I brought and they all match. Let me just grab two pieces right now. So you can see on this trip wasn't even planned. I already have some animal prints. I have this leopard, or is this cheetah? This leopard heel, as well as these Converse, so uncomfortable. Oh my gosh, the way that I've never been able to break these in and I've had them two years. But this is gonna be deer print on my Converse, as well as this bag. I don't know if you would call this animal print but to me it reminds me of that cheetah print so I would say that it is anyways these are ways to show you that I've had these pieces some of them for years and they still circle back around so be mindful of the prints that you go for I tend to go for animal prints that are brown brown is a big color of the season but we'll go over the colors in a moment leopard print cow hides um, antelope's not common, but the colors of antelope goes very well season over season. So just be mindful of that. And I would say pick smaller items if you're just trying out this trend. If you are new to it, not true to it, don't go get a full leopard coat. That might not last you as long. However, accessorizing in animal prints is so amazing. And that's a great way that you can wear this trend and keep wearing it even when it's considered out of season, out of trend, but it will still feel fresh in your wardrobe. It's nothing novelty, but the colors of this season, fall, are going to be brown, burgundy, and green. Green is one of my favorite colors. However, I will not be buying a ton of green this season because my closet is already flooded with that color, so I don't need any more. And the green of this season, I would say it's more of either an olive green or a forest green. Deeper greens or neutral greens rather tend to be the ones that hit for fall you're not going to see a lot of lime if you want to wear that wear that though who's going to stop you i have been wanting some brown suits some burgundy suits some thin brown sweaters and thin burgundy sweaters so this might be a great time to find those pieces actually brown i feel like all all beautiful beautiful women black women <laughs> all women but especially women that you know have like deeper richer tones brown is just such a sexy color and i want to have more of it in my closet more rich browns too because i feel like right now i have that tan brown that was really popular a while ago and as a whole i need more rich deep vibrant colors in my wardrobe i'm not afraid of wearing very rich tones and as you can see this beautiful brown dress that i have on right now it suits my skin tone well and i'm recognizing that and i think that as i buy more brown pieces i will lean towards the darker colors this next trend is nothing new but it is a staple when it comes to layering and styling your clothing and that is going to be tonal dressing monochrome dressing wearing similar shades of clothing together or the exact same shade it automatically makes your outfit look more luxurious you automatically look more put together especially if you are wearing the same shade but there's different textures there let's say you're wearing chiffon flowy pants with a thick knit on top but it's the same tone something about that really draws your eye to an outfit because it's unexpected you would think that you know blue on blue green on green black on black is boring but if you bring different textures in it's really fun also i love this is very much so my style tonal dressing monochrome you'll see it in my outfits all the time because it allows you to shop in a way that stays true to tones why can't i like elaborate on this it allows you to shop in a way that suits your skin tone so i know that bright blues deep greens oranges and pinks look really good on my skin tone and i'm drawn to shopping for those colors if i already have so much of that color range in my closet I don't feel the need to, oh, I need to style this in a way that's like fun and interesting. 
wear the same color. Wear a color on color. It looks good anyways. You know it looks good on your skin. You're confident in it. You're comfortable in it. At least I am. So I love knowing that we might see some more matching pieces coming into stores or popping up on vintage sites this season. I think this is also why denim on denim, aka the Canadian suit, I am in Canada right now, is coming into season. It's very much on trend. But this also might circulate from the fact that different types of denim have been coming in. You don't just see your basic jean. We've had long denim skirts, long denim coats that I've been seeing a lot in stores, denim belts, denim bag. The denim craze is still going and I'm here for it. I always love to tell this little story. I used to be so insecure of my legs because I have scars. I was an outside kid. I was definitely in those streets on my scooter, falling down, falling off of bikes. And so growing up, I only wore jeans exclusively. Now I'm a little more mature. I don't care as much, like they're there. But jeans will always have a safe space for me. Like they will always be a safe space. They will always have a place in my heart. And being able to see so much denim everywhere is just exciting. And I hope this stays a while for a stays a while for a round. Am I struggling or what? I hope this stays around for a while. This trend, I'm gonna call it either the English countryside or prim and proper. I might be mixing two trends into one right now, but we'll stick with English countryside. This is a trend that also flows really well with Western. If you want to mix styles together, I think that's one of the best ways to dress is to pull from multiple categories and wear it together. But this English countryside, so think of so much checkered clothing, herringbone, your wools, your tweeds, um, the knee high boots, the English countryside, this is, on trend it's on style i don't think i feel like this comes around every year though and maybe it's because i follow a lot of people from the uk on my youtube so i'm always seeing the girls dressing like they're going to the english countryside because that's where they actually live but maybe it's not worldwide it's not a worldwide trend but now we're seeing that a lot on the runways i adore this trend simply for the coats the versatility and the fact that it's actually comfortable some of these trends you're not gonna wear them daily however this is one where fall winter you could wear this all season and for it to be on trend is amazing I'm very happy because we're seeing more structure and tailored clothing coming back on trend guys when I tell you I have been struck, maybe that's why I just, you know, have not been into buying clothes in like the last two to three years. You know, accessories has been where it's at, handbags, jewelry, shoes, but clothing has not, it hasn't been doing it for me. And I think that's because my body type, I'm quite narrow, quite up and down. I don't have a lot of curves. So structured clothing looks really good on my frame. So when I do buy clothing, whether that's vintage, um or even you know some of the new pieces i buy in store i will end up taking it to a tailor to try and make it a little more structured or fit it to my body frame i have been wanting more structured pants a lot of the denim in my closet is structured but the suit pants this balloon pant effect has been taking over for years now and i'm it's not for me, as well as I love a good wide leg, but when the jean doesn't have enough structure, it doesn't look good. Or wide leg and suit pants, I adore wide leg, but when there's not enough structure, it looks frumpy on my frame. So to see structured tops. Um, also another cool thing is like interesting necklines, which I always love. I love an asymmetrical top, that's something that's coming in. But to see like a structured straight line top or like a very structured jacket, blazer, coat. We love the comfortable clothing, we love the baggy, but it's not my style. So I am so excited to see more structured and tailored clothings that will hopefully be hitting the market. This final trend, I'm actually quite surprised that it's carrying itself over into the fall winter season, and that's going to be puffy clothing. And I'm not talking about those puffy jackets that you're thinking of. I'm talking about the dresses that we've been seeing with the puffy bottom, the peplum top with the puff on it. 
I wanted to buy into this trend. However, every time I go to do it, something stops me. And I'm wondering if this doesn't seem to be long lasting and I've, I've had peplum in my closet before and I don't wear it that frequently so I'm a little afraid of this bubble, this puff effect if it's going to be something that I wear a couple times and I never wear again because I don't want to shop like that. I don't think that's sustainable. But I'm going to keep my eye out because I might find this trend in a way that works for me that will age well. Because just like the leopard trend, although I've had these shoes for years, I kept seeing it in dresses. And I'm not going to show you guys yet, of course, especially I'm on a trip. I can't even go get the dress if I wanted to. But soon, you guys will see this beautiful vintage leopard dress that I bought. But it's not in the way you're expecting. It's very subtle. You don't necessarily see the leopard right away until you stare harder. And I love that. And I think that with this bubble, this puffy trend effect, I'm going to have to find it in a way that doesn't give you followed a trend. I want it to seem like, oh, that's just a cool feature. Now, this is my first time doing a trend video while I'm on vacation. I don't know if it was a little bit frantic and frazzled. I actually want to do these more often. I think they're fun and you guys have told me that you want to see more fashion and so I will be showing more of my outfits, more of my ideas behind fashion, more about trends and of course put anything down below that you would like to see fashion related. I will still do my vlogs and other things on my channel but I hope you enjoyed this and until the next one, Bye, guys.